My name is Joe Morton. I'm a pretty ordinary guy from Canada whose career path has taken me to different parts of the world. Years ago, I found myself in Southeast Asia. Joe, having grown up in the industry, having uh, been subject to different botanicals and herbs and fruits and vitamins, he stumbled upon, uh, I think I would call the botanical of botanicals. This is where it all started for me. I spent my formative years here. My parents got involved in network marketing and nutritional supplementation and started their business in the basement of this house. We had a water distiller next to the bio snacky, which made the alfalfa sprouts, next to the yogo therm, which made your own yogurt, um, next, you know, next to an entire <laughs> array of nutritional supplements and capsules, pills and tablets, which made us look very strange. My brother Gordon and I ended up helping him, even at an early age. We'd help him pack orders. We'd help them go to opportunity meetings. It was a way of life. It was what we experienced growing up. It's what we knew. Joe was very active. He's always been very active, very into sports, more so than myself. Joe was always the track and field star and the captain of his hockey team. Joe is doggedly determined. Uh, he is, whatever he does, he does 150%. I've always had an interest in botanicals, you know, always looking for natural plants and herbs and fruits, waiting to be discovered. And when I found myself in Southeast Asia, it was a whole new world. Botanicals and tastes and smells that I had never experienced before. There were botanicals like durian, there were botanicals like rambutan and longan and lychee, and they were so different. And I knew there must be something here. So here I was in that exotic part of the world browsing for the next important herb or leaf or root when my discovery hit me by surprise. After a light meal, I was offered a taste of fruit. I'd never seen this fruit before. About the size of a small peach, it has a dark purple rind surrounding the most beautiful, succulent white fruit that you can imagine. I couldn't believe the flavor. And when I tasted mangosteen for the first time, the queen of fruit, I knew we had something. I sought out those familiar with local folklore and learned that while the fruit is valued for its flavor, the rind, or pericarb, has been used for all kinds of conditions going back generations. If you just came across the mangosteen never having been brought up like Joe was brought up, you wouldn't realize its potential. The mangosteen may have been unknown to Western taste buds, but it turns out that the volume of scientific research done on the fruit and the pericarb was staggering. We had a stack of printouts, probably one and a half feet thick. And it was not research on one particular system of the body or this, it was system after system after system. This thing has an active component, a phytochemical or a phytonutrient, if you will, known as xanthum. And for the first time, I think, in the history of health and nutrition, you had a botanical that had never been brought to market, a category creator that not only had all the folklore that you could ever want, but had Science. Why weren't there any kinds of mangosteen supplements out there? The answer was simple. Somebody has to be the first. And that somebody was us. I had to call Gord, I had to call Aaron and talk to them about this and say and start to tell them the story of mangosteen. I tasted it for the first time and uh, my curiosity was completely satisfied. It was everything I expected it to be. Delicious. Should we try to make it taste it's bad? bad. We had Should it. we try to make it taste bad? Believe it or not, that yeah. was a talking. And it was at the beginning, the early yeah, stages, we're like, this tastes way too good. Zango is the first, whose brand is the product is, is, is the company. And so when people think of mangosteen juice, they actually think of Zango first. And that was one of the first things we did when we decided to start this thing, was to create the brand. Here was a name that we took from uh, xanthones and mangosteen and, and combined them and Gordon gets all the credit for that. And we locked ourselves in a room, remember? Locked ourselves in a room and wouldn't come out until we had a brand name of something catchy. And, won. and you won. Gordon won. It was Gordo. I wrote it on the board and Joe and Aaron started clapping. I think they clapped. I got an applause. Mine was Mangosteen Plus Company. <laughs> So we said, well, let's zig when everyone else zags. You know, at the time it was all about retail and, and mass market penetration through the internet. And we said, no, let's just go low tech, high touch. We are going to scream from the rooftop. It's okay to be direct sales. We love it. Just fine to start a business from the and comfort no and safety of your own home. Did you know Zango was going to be a big success uh, when you opened the doors? 
And I say, absolutely. When you look at uh, the secret of success behind Zango, there is definitely a feeling of, of, of destiny. Of course, there's moments of being scared, and any, that comes with any type of a business venture. But there was always a confidence that this would be big. Thank goodness Aaron had the foresight to plant zucchini that year, because that <laughs> fed us for weeks when we started. I'm, I'm but, telling but you. But the truth yeah. is, and what we joke, we're tying, kind of tongue-in-cheek about it, but the truth is you start this thing, and all three of us put our house as personal guarantees. You want to be the first. You want to be what everyone in, in the future will compare themselves to. And that's what we have with Zango. From the get-go, the day that we opened our doors, we committed to donate 7% of our corporate profits to children's charities, in our case, Operation Kids, uh, an umbrella charity. Think about how this story started with one guy, uh, with one dream. Joe told the story to two guys, to the point where there are millions of people that are telling the story of Mangosteen today. From the research, to the formulation, to the preparation, to the launch of this extraordinary product, a singular product unique in all the world, Zango. 